The people who want to make America great again heard from some other nations yesterday, tribal nations. The Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, regularly draws the nation's top conservatives. But this year, it included speakers from the Navajo Nation and other tribes who brought a message from sovereign nations. Alyssa Klink reports from our Washington Bureau. Less government interference, more local control. Those are talking points dear to the hearts of conservatives, as well as a mantra of tribal nations for generations. The concept of less government in terms of regulation um, and, and certainly more say over your um, self-determination. That's why Dwight Witherspoon, chief of staff for the Navajo Nation, said it made sense for tribal leaders to be at the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC. Witherspoon said all tribes should be looking for the support of conservatives, like those who gathered at the conference this week in the Washington suburbs. How certainly can we um, work with conservatives which have similar values that we have in terms of trying to uh, certainly lessen government regulation. And Gavin Clarkson, a conservative politician from New Mexico, said conservatives should pay attention. There's as much of an outreach from Indian country to conservatives as there needs to be uh, from conservatives out to Indian country. Witherspoon said the Navajo now run some of their own programs, like forest land management, transportation and minerals, but they could do more if they had greater control over their affairs. Clarkson agreed, but said there's one change he thinks tribes should make right away. Fortunately, far too much of Indian country supports Democrats, even though it's against their sovereign interests. In National Harbor, Maryland, I'm Melissa Klink, Cronkite News.